Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set up Camtasia to record and produce your videos so they show as widescreen high quality at YouTube. And I'll show you what I mean by widescreen high quality at YouTube. This is one of my videos at YouTube and you notice the quality is okay. But if you look at down here on the YouTube player, there's a button that says watch in HD. And if you click that link, you notice that the, the video all of a sudden gets much larger and the resolution gets a lot higher. And you can do that uh, quite easily in Camtasia, but you've got to do it for a couple of steps first. I'll show you how to do those now. This is Camtasia Studio, and the very first thing you want to do when you're getting ready to record to high definition is click the Make a Recording button. And on the Camtasia recording screen, before you record, you want to select Tools and then Options. And under Options, you want to make sure that you have checked where it says Save as AVI. This is very important. Save it as AVI. And then click the Video tab. And on the video configuration, select manual, and on the frame rate, set 30. That's also very important. And your audio format is not going to matter. I generally set mine uh, to be an MPEG layer 3, and then click OK. And the next thing is to select the area to record. But you don't want to select that area before you size that area. And what I mean is that the area that you're going to record probably should be 1280 by 720, because that's going to give you the best resolution when you put that up on YouTube. And to do that, I use a program called Size, and Sizer is free. And the way it works with Sizer is once you start it, you can right click. And when you right click, it shows you a number of screen options and you can add your own. And I want to record at 1280 by 720. So I just select that and it resizes my screen to 1280 by 720. Now that I've selected the area, all I need to do is to start the recorder and I'll just press F9 to start the recorder and record all the video that I want. Once I've recorded my video and saved it, it's in Camtasia Studio, I can bring it down on my timeline. When I bring the video onto my timeline, Camtasia Studio is going to ask me a few settings. I'm going to use the All setting and if I have HD in my settings, I'm going to select that. But if I don't, I'm going to select the recording dimensions, which is 1280 by 720 and then click OK. And then when I'm going to go ahead and make all the edit changes that I want, once I've made those changes, I'm going to produce the video. Now to produce it, I'm going to click File, Produce Video As. I'm going to select Custom Production Settings. I'm going to select Move, that's MOV. I'm going to click Next. Under QuickTime Options, under Video, I'm going to select Settings. QuickTime Options should be H.264. The frame rate needs to be 30, that's very important. The keyframes I select to be automatic. The compressor quality I set it to be best. The encoding I set for best quality, but it, you can also set it for fast encoded. It's not going to make a big difference at YouTube. The data rate I set to automatic, and then click OK. And then on the sound settings, and this is very important, you need to set this for 4800, 16-bit, and even though you may have recorded in mono, you need to set it to stereo so that YouTube will recognize this as being high definition and then you click OK and then click OK and then click Next. Make sure your, your video size is set for 1280 by 720 and then click Next. And if you're going to use a watermark, now here's the place to select it. Select Include Watermark and then select the watermark on your computer and then select Next. And I select Next. Give your production a name and then click Finish and the render process will start. Now the render process will be fairly slow if you're doing a high definition and it will create a relatively large MOV file. When the process is complete, you will want to upload that .mov file to YouTube. And once that's uploaded, YouTube will recognize it as being a high definition file. And you'll see the link that says watch in HD. Now on my YouTube videos, when they play, there's an annotation that shows up that says click watch in HD to see an HD widescreen. And I do that so that people can realize it is available in HD and they can click this link. It's real easy to do because you can click edit and annotations to add that annotation. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips a week. To find more like this visit www.bmyers.com.